I would like to begin my presentation by commemorating all of our martyrs with the mercy of God. It was February of 2018 and I was at Shanlifa. Uh, a captain from the Turkish Special Ops was uh, visiting us. He, he was my fa father's friend from high school. Uh, I was quite interested and during our chit chat I asked him the, about the difficulties that the Turkish army was facing during Operation Olive Branch, which was ongoing at the time. Uh, well, he said that they suffered a great deal of casualties while turning corners in city blocks because they weren't able to see or detect the terrorists who were placed in the uh, buildings uh, at that moment. Uh, well, this information was relayed on to engineers in Tutak uh, and they responded very quickly within a matter of 10 days. An electronic system was sent to the front lines. This system was capable of turning around the corner, detecting all the terrorists one by one, and then eliminating them with very high precision and support fire. Uh, he said that after the system was introduced into the front lines, their casualties actually did decrease by 62%. And this was astounding. Operation Olive Branch had gained a very much greater initiative after this introduction of this technology. I was amazed by the intimacy uh, between uh, such technologies and military units, and hence I uh, decided to make a presentation on this. My name is Ahmed Kramtayla from Electrics and Electronics Engineering, Metro. Well, technology holds a very important position in any military formation in the whole world. Uh, two key aspects as to how technology uh, affects military tactics uh, and they are training and aiding the personnel on the field dynamically and instantaneously. Well, firstly, technology makes training personnel very much easier and simpler. Complex combat plans could be formulated in uh, computer systems and algorithms very, very quickly within a matter of hours and with very high precision and accuracy. High tech gear provided aids personnel on the field during battle in such a way that these uh, sets of equipment are known to have changed the courses of battles and wars. There are a lot of examples in history about this. So how is technology used in training? Advanced computer simulations are used to formulate virtual reality surroundings such that the soldiers who, who are uh, placed into these simulations experience real-life combat situations. Uh, these situations are made possible by high-technology graphics processing units such as the RTX 2080 Ti, uh, which is comprised of an astounding 18.6 billion transistors in a single chip. As the soldiers do not actually fire at each other, uh, there is a very little risk of any death or injury to occur during the trainings. Also, the countries are saved from the load of paying huge amounts of money to the loads of ammunition which are spread around during the training. Uh, next is a very rarely uh, stated side of technology involvement in uh, military tactics. And that's biotech enhancements. Uh, there are a lot of examples of biotech, biotechnology used in military uh, since the beginning of history. It begins by the Mongols, to the Ottomans, to Imperial Japan, to Nazi Germany, and finally America in the modern era. Uh, today's biotech enhancements generally comprise of vitamin capsules injected into a soldier's bloodstream. These capsules travel to the muscle tissues through the bloodstream and embed them inside the muscle cells. When uh, decided for, these capsules open up and release the vitamins into the muscle tissues, and the muscles uh, get and, and the muscles get very 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 larger. This means that the soldiers could develop huge muscle tissues with very little effort. This leaves the soldiers with more time to train for other stuff as they do not have to practice or run for 
hours and hours every day. Secondly, technology is also used to aid military uh, personnel on the field instantaneously during combat. Autonomous systems facilitate detection and precise precision striking, while intelligence systems support soldiers in the field by suggesting uh, positioning and uh, cover fire methods. These autonomous systems greatly enhance uh, a country's military capabilities. Uh, these capabilities include detection and elimination of any enemy threats. <clears throat> Uh, the elimination process is generally carried out by artillery battalions which generally have a range of around 60 kilometers. The usage of artificial intelligence and modern technology makes soldier deployment nearly unnecessary because uh, very high accuracy uh, air strikes and artillery strikes could be carried out uh, after detection processes by radar technologies. Moreover, intelligence systems support soldiers on field by aiding their communication, aim support, and, strategic and, and by giving strategic and tactical suggestions to the soldiers dynamically during the operation itself. The soldiers may or may not choose to act according to those, uh, according to those suggestions, but they have a second mind which they could listen to. In addition to this, artificial intelligence programs are known to uh, give advice on deployment tactics and firepower concentration supports. Some um, uh, programs could be uh, so detailed as to give commands to each member of a whole battalion, one by one, as to what they should do at what moment. The word has been set on a military basis since the beginning of history, and this does not seem to change in the near future. Military technologies are generally at the core of industry, and they are uh, feeding other industries, uh, and are going to continue to feed these industries for a long, long time from now, uh, which uh, strikes on one point. Military technologies have to be developed by any country who wants to succeed and by any country who wants to stay on the error. These are my references. If you would like to listen, if, if you would like to gain more information on my uh, topic and make some more research, I prefer listening to my book.